hear you like yourselves, fat and chunky. Welcome back everyone. If you're new here, my name is G and I'm an artist and art teacher based out of Cairo, Egypt. And today we're talking about why you can't seem to get big cells in your paintings. The thing is, for a lot of beginners, getting cells is already a difficult concept to begin with. So the idea that you can control their size seems like a far-fetched idea. But I'm here to show you that that isn't the case. For this experiment, you're going to need acrylic paint, a pouring medium, silicone oil, and a kitchen torch. You can use any pouring medium here, it does not have to be float -cold. Personally, I'm going to use varnish and water. So this is the consistency of my medium. As you can see, it's on the thinner side to begin with. If your medium is thicker, you can thin it down with water. And if your medium is thinner, you'll need to use a little bit more paint to compensate. We're going to add three parts of this medium to one part of paint. The mixture should look something like this. We'll be adding a drop of silicone into two of the colors. The base will have no oil and we'll keep the third color without oil as well. I'm going to mix the drops in with exactly 10 stirs to just kind of break it up into the paint. So now that we've got the paints mixed up, let's talk about what you're doing wrong. It actually boils down to two simple things. You're doing too much and you're not using enough paint. Let's unpack that. Whether it's adding seven drops of silicone to the color or excessively torching the paint or frantically tilting it around, you're doing way too much. It takes a lot less work, provided you follow this next point as well. You're not using enough paint. And I get it. Art supplies are expensive. You don't want to waste supplies. A lot of people are pouring on a budget. I understand. But remember that a waste by definition is something that's used or consumed without purpose. So let me show you the purpose. Here's the first painting. The white base has no oils. The yellow and pink have a drop of silicone each. The turquoise doesn't have oils. Pay attention to how liberally I'm putting the paint on the canvas. When you use the swipe technique, we're going to move the paint without oil over the paint that does have oil. And notice this very small tilt. Now, as you apply heat from the kitchen torch, the cells will come to the surface. But pay attention to how I only torch the center. Now pay attention to how the cells are growing on their own. So what is happening? Well, when you make sure your sides and corners are evenly wet with paint, the paint in the center can freely slide outwards in all directions. You can continue to pick up paint that slides off and pour it just at the edge so it continues to pull on the paint in the center. But here's where most people mess this up. You will pick it up to tilt it, and it will immediately start to deform. They're still very big, but they start losing their shape. Because no matter how much you try, you can't possibly tilt in all directions at once. So here's painting number two. This time we're going for a flip cup. The paints are exactly the same as before. I'm going to layer these paints going no oil, 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 no oil. I'm repeating this twice and then I'm doing a very standard flip cup. This time I'll try to not tilt at all. And I'm going to use my finger to just slide the paint over the edges all the way around to make sure the edges are completely wet, the corners are completely wet, and the excess paint can drain itself. And now as we begin to torch the center, the cells will appear, and we'll continue to add paint from what fell off to the sides again, so it continues to pull on the center outwards, and look at how those cells are growing. Very small tilt, it wasn't really a tilt, I just wanted to adjust the tile on the, on the cup that it's sitting on. I'm gonna place a uh, bottle cap next to the canvas so you can see for reference how big the cells are getting. Do you see what I mean by you're doing too much? It's not about using a lot of silicone and it's not about torching the paint until it's a medium well. It's about letting the paint move naturally from the center outwards and going off the edge in the natural motion that it wants to go in. This naturally lets the cells expand in all directions evenly in a much better fashion than if you were to tilt it. It has to go through these motions. It's like the follow through of a basketball shot. It has to go through the motions. Now, if you were to tilt off all the excess in the beginning and then torch, you'd get cells that look like this, which is perfectly fine, but you've eliminated any possibility of them expanding because they don't have any more room to move. And that's how you get big cells. Thank you for watching this video. If you want more information like this that's designed to help you make better paintings, check out my online course at gpours.com. You can also find the video where I explain everything that's in the course right here. See you guys soon.